and this is the first glimpse of the theme park so yeah looks really interesting let's go and find out at the theme park is this one yeah oh okay i have to uh, come down and then i will enter from here yeah. and what is this hotel uh, but if i'm visiting theme park where do i park my car where you park no my friend is bringing the car you uh, said Okay. Ah, over there. And do you know the parking fees? Three ringgit one hour. Ah, okay. Good. And cable car is also in there. Cable car and Highland Hotel. Highland Hotel. So I have to go there. I go inside. Ah, so I have to go inside and you. Ah, from here. Yes. Link, link. Oh, I have to go that way. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. Hi, right, so I'm going inside uh, uh, the theme park. So, the way to the theme park is through the Valley Hotel, uh, the Resort World Hotel. And then you have to take the escalator and then the link bridge to the Genting Sky Worlds. And there is an ATM inside uh, the Sky World itself, so in case you don't have money, they have an ATM and locker, so you can keep your stuff here. Probably uh, you'll have to pay something extra. So I will go and check how much the ticket is for. I'm not carrying much cash, so probably I will uh, use my car and pay a little bit of extra money for these charges. Okay, so I have bought the tickets, uh, it's 219 and I used this kiosk uh, to get the self ticket, so it's here. So I used my credit card to buy the ticket, so I have one ticket here. And you can also get an express ticket uh, in case uh, you want to uh, get the priority entry, that's 100 ringgit more. So I will go and check in. If uh, there is a long queue, I will probably upgrade it to the express ticket. So this is my ticket? Yeah. Okay. These two? Uh, this one will be first. This one the ticket, no? Oh, this is the ticket. Yeah. These two are the invoice. Yeah. Okay, great. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Right, so let's go in. My ticket. Guess go. Oh, which one? Anyone? Uh, anyone. Just remember which one I use. Ah, okay. So it's the right thumb. So I have to use it during the exit. You want to re-insert and then QR and also fingerprint. Oh, QR and fingerprint. Okay. Another oh. question. Oh, I timed out. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, so there is a two-factor authentication, the ticket and the fingerprint. So if someone finds your ticket, if you end up dropping it, uh, so no one will be able to enter using the ticket. So that's quite uh, interesting. So I'm inside the uh, theme park now. And... Uh, yeah, I don't see a lot of people, uh, so maybe probably there will be uh, near the right, uh, the interesting ones. So let's see, so this is the entrance. Okay, this is how it looks like. It's quite bright in here, so I'll probably put on my sunglasses. So the directory is here, and it's uh, till 6 p.m. Let's take a picture of the directory. Okay. 
There's a lot of waiting time. Okay, so the waiting time is uh, really long, which I didn't expect. So I will get the app and let's get started with the ride. This one looks interesting, uh, the roller coaster looks interesting too. Where does this start from? And uh, okay, I think I will need to pay for this. I didn't know that. I thought everything is free, so probably just the rights are free. So what is over here? This is uh, the Rio theme park. Ah, it's a restaurant. Today shows at 12 p.m., 1.30 and 3.30. And today's show time is 12.45. So this show is about to start. Sambana Abana. Oh wow, that one looks scary. I should probably eat less. Is there any other restaurant or is this is the only restaurant? Uh, one more is I ate. Oh, okay. Uh, so in the theme park there are only two restaurants? Yeah. Okay. okay. And it's the same kind of food or is it different? Uh, that one, uh, that's like a uh, food park. Like food, park. food park, oh, yeah. they have a lot of options yeah. there. Is it far? Mountain, so yeah. I have to keep going straight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, thank you. Ah, oh, this one looks interesting. Fast, these ladies with the food park. Hi, right. sorry. Uh, where is the food park? Food. Yeah, food. Yeah, I have to. Ah, oh, box cafe. Okay, thank you. very thrilling so I don't know how what's the waiting time in that ride I think probably a lot of people are waiting around there wow the weather is really good it's very cold here it's uh, really nice to roam around here and to take a thrilling ride in this cold weather would be really nice see what kind of food and options they have over here and uh, these are ice cream um, yeah it's a desert shop and uh, yeah I'm not really looking forward to having ice cream I need proper food so let's go and find some food Ah, not a lot of options. Sushi. Oh, man. You don't have a lot of options. It's like uh, mostly takeaway food and... I'm not really looking forward to kind of food but that one looks interesting homemade meatball and mash and just take that oven back to this put hi in the meatballs how many balls do you Right? Six? Well, probably I'll skip with this. 
Yeah. There are a lot of options. I will probably go ahead and have my burger. What is this? This is a salad wrap. I think uh, this should be good. Oh, I will go and uh, get my burger. Well, I, I thought it would be like a food court where there are different stalls, but uh, this one didn't have uh, any. So I will just go and uh, get my burger because uh, yeah, I want to fill up my belly. Maybe I should go for a light food because I will be trying some of the rights. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Unfortunately, they don't accept any cash. So I had to pay via my card. Probably I will end up paying a little more extra via Forex. I don't usually like to pay via Forex. Oh, there is a show going on. It looks scary man I want to do that but the waiting time is like a killer 
40 minutes to just stand in the queue uh, I don't want to do that probably I should eat my food and by the time I wait uh, it will settle up in my belly let's see if it's ready yeah it is okay this is mine thank, thank you, you. Okay, I got my food here. The show was happening right here, so I could like dine and enjoy the food, enjoy this show at the same time. So let's find out how the food is like. So here is my fries, here is my burger. This looks quite nice. This is uh, over the Texas style uh, building. Uh, like you see, the chopper, uh, the bike chopper in uh, the Western movies. So the theme of the house is uh, similar like this. Uh, this is an interesting game. So you have to throw the ball in one of these buckets and it is not supposed to bounce back. But it does most of the time. So if you are a student of physics, you will be able to probably win that. Oh, that's an interesting chopper. Let's take a closer look. this place the sun com keeps coming and going because of the clouds so when the clouds cover up the sun gets a little cold but uh, when the clouds clear up it gets a bit sunny so it, that is quite nice so you kind of feel the heat and cold at the same time it's going on here concert in the park so there is a concert here Probably there was a show. Uh, everyone is taking pictures with the concert member. Hmm. So there is a show at 1.15. I missed that. So 2.15 is the another show. Maybe I can try that. Let's see this ride. So the queue for this ride. I don't see any queue. So let's go up on this ride. Global Defender. I, I can enter from here. I can enter from here. Uh, oh. so oh, this one is closed for uh, maintenance. Temporary, temporary. Okay. So uh, after uh, 30 minutes, so. Yeah, okay. okay. So it's been closed for scheduled maintenance. So that's a. It's a really good thing that you know uh, they stop it for maintenance. So to ensure the safety of the rides. Where is the performance? Oh, it's going to be happening right oh, here. Over so here. If you want to see okay. over okay, here. Sure. Okay, sure. Okay. What and kind of dance is it? Oh, it's a raya dance. Raya dance. Yes. Is it based on which theme? Oh, uh, based on the performance here. Okay. Oh, is it based on like over there? I saw a Rio theme dance. Oh, or yeah, something? Rio. Oh, there are different performances that we've performed. Ah, oh, okay. Let's see. It, it, it just started a few minutes. Yeah, Invasion of the Planet of the Apes. 
maybe I should see the dance first and then I can see the apes. Here are the dancers, oh, they look pretty dance. Well, I really like the Malaysian dress, so this is like a traditional dance because they are wearing the traditional dress. Oh, I cannot stand here. Ah, yeah, stand here. Okay. okay. Yeah, but I will get a better view over there, yeah, right? Better view over there. I can pass. Yes, go. Can okay. Pass okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> well, they have foreigner dancers too. They just don't have uh, Malaysian dancers. She is this show starter. It's like a story. So these three friends are talking. And these girls are passing by. Bring they are his heart. It's like a story like the movie the Emma Watson movie something like that Push the moment. <laughs> Can you record me with them? Record? Just, How? Just point, it's already recording. Oh, it's already. Faster, faster, faster. It's raining now. Please, faster. Get ready. 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 Get Invasion of the planet of the apes. Wow, looks interesting. Let's see what kind of rights they have. Do they have inside? Oh, I need to queue. Okay. I can record. Use my GoPro inside. From here. Okay. Thank you. One and 
Okay. Looks like I'm unlucky. So everyone went through, but I'm the only person. So I will have to probably wait for another 15 minutes. This is like the residence of the apes when they got smart in the movie and I really like the theme over here so they have painted the walls and tore it uh, in small places the posters and the uh, clothing and everything it looks like the apes residence so and all the gra graffiti and the whatever the spray paint it uh, resembles like the movie so I'm going to wait for another 15 minutes, probably. Bro, how long is this show? Around five minutes. Five minutes? Oh, okay. Then I won't have to wait long enough. Yeah. Uh, it, and it's a 3D or 4D show? What kind? 3D, right? What kind of 3D? 3D, right. Uh, like it's not a 4D, like chair shakes. Uh... Ah, you have to sit inside the vehicle and then they will move. And then they will ah, okay. Move. It's a vehicle which moves around. Yes. So it's a vehicle which moves at its own place or it will go around the park? Ah, it will go around the park. Ah, oh, it's a, like a roller coaster. No roller coaster, it's just a flat ride. Ah, okay, it's a, just a flat line. But we will have to put the VR set. The 3D glasses, yeah. Ah, 3D glasses. Oh, okay. I can use this inside? I can use the... No? The camera? Okay. Eat in restaurants. Went to the theater. interesting right the planet of the apes it was basically a, a ride which was moving around and there was a 3d so it looks like I was totally immersed in the 3d environment so that was uh, quite nice yeah it was uh, really worth the time the waiting time so uh, one interesting thing uh, with the app is like you can make uh, reservations uh, for the ride in the app the Genting Worldwide application itself and once you have made the reservation if you go at that specific time at the ride uh, you will get a priority entry so that's uh, really interesting uh, really good so I got to know about a little late so I have made a reservation for one of the rides so I'm trying to navigate using the app where it is so River Town Roller where is it? So I have to go to the River Town Roller at around 2.20 I'm already past the time So I'm going to basically miss it My time was 2.40 
This one is really thrilling, right? I like the like to see the faces of the people after the ride. Some are smiling, some are really tensed. Bro, so we can use this? No? Okay, need to oh, okay. We need to put it there. So unfortunately I cannot take my camera with me. So let's prepare. Alright, the we just did this right uh, and it was quite thrilling so uh, it's like a feeling of uh, uh, being an Air Force pilot like uh, when the, he rotates the plane uh, so your seats they move around for 360 and uh, you are inverted and uh, all the pressure comes down on your brain so it kind of felt like that but it was not that much speed so your body organs were not moving from inside so there was not that uneasy feeling uh, it just uh, your mind feels a little bit of pressure so yeah that was quite interesting I uh, would love to do that again and the waiting time doesn't look that much in that right so I'm single and uh, it's very easy it's kind of an uh, advantage uh, which I saw in other amusement park and in Disneyland like when you mostly people travel in group and they would like to go on a ride in group but if you are just one person and if there is only one single ride vacant on a person then they will uh, ask you to break the queue and you can join the ride so that's been happening with me but and these are the pictures probably my picture might be there uh, but uh, I'm not interested in getting my picture, so let's move on to another right. Okay, so I had a reservation at 2.40 and basically I had to scan this QR code. And uh, I don't see that many people uh, here. Ah, oh, it's over there. Oh, this ride is fast, man. Fast. No way! <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> this one looks interesting. <laughs> wow! This looks more fun. It's like it's uh, rotating you around. And it's probably going to move around like a uh, 10 circles or more than 10? I think it's more than 10, probably 20 circles. That guy is dead. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't, uh, don't have a heavy breakfast before you come here or a lunch. Fortunately, I didn't eat much. Or you should rest your belly to rest. Or you will end up puking. Oh, feels nice to be in the reservation queue. So 
So I'm in the reservation queue and this is the regular one. Hey bro. Okay, so I did that right uh, for Rivet and uh, this one was quite interesting too. I there is a controller on every ride uh, so basically it moves forward it rotates in a circle but you can see that lever so if you press that lever you are going to make a 360 turn so it doesn't turn by itself so if you don't comfortable you can just uh, keep the lever at press but if you want to turn yourself get some excitement uh, you can just turn that lever and you have to keep it turned until it completes a revolution else you will keep uh, you will be stuck at that position where, where you leave the lever so if you want to feel the gravity in your head you can just rotate it uh, for 180 degrees and then you will be like totally upside down and moving in a circle so this was really interesting wow these are some really cool robots I mean the figure robotic figure all right let's go so I'll be trying this climb next. Andro Beta Base. Yeah. Oh, this one looks really cool. Uh, somebody crazy, only crazy will try this ride. But I have got some confidence after trying some of the extreme rides. This looks like the most thrilling ride in this whole park. Or that roller coaster over there. Okay, so unfortunately this ride has been stopped due to technical difficulties. And uh, I don't know if it will resume or not. And they are not letting any more people in. So I was already in the queue but I decided to come out because I don't know for how long I will have to wait there. Okay, so next um, we'll try this roller coaster ride. So I did see a roller coaster but uh, so it looks thrilling too. Okay, so uh, for some of the rides here, the roller coaster and some of the thrilling rides you have to um, uh, keep your stuff in the locker and the locker is paid so that's like extra 20 ringgits you need to pay so this is the rio show so there are few rides so i don't have any option to skip the ride so i thought it's just one ride which requires a locker but it looks like most of the rides requires a locker so i'm going to pay for the locker and keep my stuff there Okay, so uh, for some of the rides, as I said, they don't allow you to uh, carry your stuff and uh, they don't really have a place to keep uh, your bag. So I had to get a locker and uh, uh, I'm going to another ride where I couldn't carry my GoPro. I cannot carry my GoPro. So uh, yeah, I'm just uh, going to use my phone to uh, record rest of the uh, rides. So this is Global Defender. Probably this is the one I will be trying next.
Okay, so I just did the ride and this was uh, actually really thrilling. So it, uh, it also has a 360 rotation and it also takes you higher. And uh, I quite enjoyed it. Uh, after a few rotations, you get calm into it and then uh, you really start enjoying this ride. So yeah, I have the roller coaster ride reservation, so let's find out where is that one. Okay, I tried this ride too, uh, the one which I showed you just now. It's a really short ride, so in case you don't have a reservation and if you don't have a priority pass and if you see a long wait time of like 40 minutes, you can easily avoid this ride. Because it's not worth that waiting time, it's like you wait for 40 minutes and the ride is like just 30 seconds. The, uh, it's a thrill experience but it's too short so you can easily uh, avoid that one. Oh, that's right you're afraid of water and you're afraid of being eaten alive right just keep that in mind here you go here you go
Okay, so I just tried the big drop uh, right, and it was quite thrilling. I mean, uh, when I was about to get into the right, my heart was pumping uh, really fast. But once you get into it, once you ease into it, it's uh, really exciting. So uh, it is really high enough, but uh, I don't know. I didn't uh, feel that scared. So it was quite exciting. It's a pity I came in a bit late and I cannot try that ride again because the park closes at around 6 p.m. and uh, 6 p.m. Uh, every ride stops. Uh, they just uh, they, they stop they stop people getting in. So yeah, it's quite sad. Uh, I would have loved to try it, uh, lo love to try that ride again, probably next time. But if you are here. This is the ride you should be getting in every time, like you should try it at least three times because this is the uh, father of all rides, man, father of mother of all rides. So don't miss this out, probably do it two or three times when you are here. Okay, so my visit to Genting Highland has concluded. Um, Unfortunately, I couldn't uh, visit every ride, but I did all the thrill rides, so that I'm glad about. Uh, there are a few rides uh, which looks interesting, which I couldn't uh, do. Yeah, they look really beautiful, but uh, yeah, there is no uh, adrenaline rush uh, in these rides. Uh, these are more of like for kids. Uh, great for taking pictures. Yeah, I didn't cover this section either. Overall, it was really worth it. I paid 241 ringgits or somewhere around that. But if you book uh, the ticket one day in advance via online uh, application, uh, you will get uh, like a probably 60 uh, ringgit discount too. So yeah, uh, don't make the same mistake as I did. Uh, book the online and uh, come exactly at 11 a.m. If you try all the rides and there is some other ride you want to try again, uh, you should really come uh, again, uh, early so that uh, you get to do the same ride again and again. So I did a few rides which I wanted to do again but I couldn't. So the park all closes, the rides they closes at 6 p.m. but the park it remains open so they are not uh, asking uh, people to uh, go out uh, so you can stay, you can roam around, enjoy the view. Uh, so probably I don't know when exactly they will say okay time to go, time to get out of the park gates. But uh, as of now it's uh, taking their pictures uh, and I'm looking for the restaurant where I had my burger because there is a charging point uh, so there is a paid charging here and you can go to the restaurant and there is a, a charging point there was just one and I used it to charge uh, my phone over there while I was having my meal and the paid charging point is also there but you will have, you will have to pay for that okay so these are the paid charging stations so how much is it is it uh, three ringgit three ringgit per hour oh that's fair cs telephone limit so yeah this is the phone locker and that one is the charging station. I don't know how it works. So my phone is already in there. So probably you... Probably there is a... There, there was a chassis over there so you can put your phone in the chassis and then it does a wireless charging. There are a lot of stuff you can buy from here. Okay, I should probably exit. Yeah. Oh, 
there is another paid locker here. Yeah. This is the indoor theme park. So I'm here, it looks uh, really dazzling uh, with all the lights. Uh, the, it's a really spectacular view. Uh, I don't know if there, is, there are better, I'm sure there are better English words to describe it. But it's uh, really oh, oh, absorbs your mind into it like. Uh, the way they have set up everything. This guy is playing. Let's see if he is able to put in the ball. It's not as easy as it looks. Okay. Two out of two in to win. So two balls are supposed to go in in order to win these are the tickets and I think uh, this park is still open uh, this is like a mini ride mini indoor ride more for kids. It doesn't look like it's open. The counter is closed. Ah, it's open. So I do see people that are getting there because it's on the. Ah, is it open? Is it open? The. Is it open? Which one? Oh, there is a we have to select every right separately or, oh, it's not there is not one ticket to enjoy all the rights you can one day pass oh one 90. day pass you can play all the rights and it will remain open till what time until 10 until 10 oh, so there is an option to enjoy just one right or you can buy the pass for 90 ringgits and you get to enjoy all the rides. Oh, there are so many of I don't have enough time and uh, I'm, I just did a really thrilling ride so I'm more looking forward to pay for these rides but this one looks quite nice it's moving around and well, that looks like a cable car which goes around This 
place looks fun. It's very light. There is the carousel. 